Fencers Club. Dreams begin here. I've been coming 15 years. I was a hyperactive kid and my dad was just looking to put me in all activities to tire me out. I fence for Peter Wesley Foundation, which is uh, like the brother of Fencers Club. I like the loyalty and camaraderie that this club promotes, unlike other clubs who sometimes buy their fences. <laughs> Young fencers should work on footwork. Footwork is really key. That helps get you a lot of touches and practicing and don't give up because I wasn't that good when I started. I was really terrible for about seven years and then finally everything clicked after that. The thing I found most frustrating when I started fencing was that my opponents were better than me because they had experience. It was just hard to hit them and they were beating me and I really don't like to lose. No, it's, fencing, fencing is not my life. I obviously, I party. <laughs> I party, I like to play basketball. I, I'm a sports fanatic. If you ask me anything, I will probably tell you statistics about anything. I like to read a lot and I love anything competitive. Here at the Fencers Club, we have a variety of different programs that are aimed at various types of fencers. Step forward. Just one step. Left, left, right. Right. We make a great deal of effort to encourage young people to come to fencing and stay in fencing. We have a number of after-school programs designed for beginning fencers. Uh, we have summer programs that are designed to encourage young people to come to summer camps here at the club and are out of town. In fact, the program we run here at the club are not just fencing. We teach math, we teach English, we teach chess. And we also have a fair number of veteran fencers at the other end of the demographic scales. People who are over 40. We have quite a few fencers who are in their 60s, 70s and 80s in fact and are still very active fencers. And in between, of course, we encourage the local college fencers to come and work out here at the club so that we have a fairly high caliber of fencing for those who are actively competing at the national and international level. So we try and offer to everyone something that addresses his or her interest, skill, and level. In the spirit of making fencing available to one and all, uh, there has been, as you know, wheelchair fencing for quite a number of years here at the Fences Club. 
I myself have never experienced it except for once when the one young woman who is a member of the club and in a wheelchair, uh, I fenced against her. It was a very interesting game, and very challenging also, mostly because of the proximity of the two fences. There was no moving back and forth, obviously. So it called for a completely different kind of game on my part. And unsurprisingly, she actually beat me because she was much more adept at just hand fencing, which is really what it is. I start fencing because I didn't know what sport to do and uh, we just found that sport. I think what I found fun is that I had the foil and it was fun to, uh, to have a foil in your hand because I never had one before. I chose to come here because in the internet they said it was a good club. Before we do fencing we do like one hour and a half of uh, stretching, training, I think it was good. <laughs>